From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. And we'll start out sitting at the dock of the bay here. Uh, nice to see uh, the seasonal shot there with uh, smugglers, the scallywag, Bicentennial Tower, and of course the bay across to Presque Isle on our Kerr's Tire Corner camera. You can see the milky white kind of uh, hazy look to the cirrus clouds. It's the highest deck of clouds before they get lower and some showers come in here. But there's going to be a plenty of dry time as you go through the weekend. Uh, Friday is dry. Saturday may start with a shower, but then in the afternoon, temperature really pops. Sunday, again, way up there, looking dry there. And showers probably holding off until the afternoon on Monday. And we're still warm. So uh, let's talk about spring storm, severe weather special. 7.30 tonight right here on JET, Craig, Tom and I tackling topics ranging from the new National Weather Service office in Cleveland, their relationship and help to us and our help to them with Skywarn. Tommy D talking to Presque Isle lifeguards about spring and summer storms and uh, Craig talking about heat and to the kids at Robinson Elementary. All kinds of neat stuff. It'll be rebroadcast tomorrow at 7 on Fox and then it will be available online at our website, yourerie.com. Satellite picture shows the clouds, and, and that's what you're seeing going across the skies there on that live shot, but no significant precipitation yet. We go west, line of showers, that'll come in here toward and after midnight, then some more rain for the early morning. It actually could move out of here by later tomorrow afternoon. But let's back it up a bit. 13 hours, 36 minutes of daylight today. Good air quality, although it's wet and milder tomorrow. We could hit 80 by Sunday. So let's take a look at temperatures. You can see the lake breeze right here in the 40s. Gets warmer, McCain, Lake Pleasant, Wattsburg, as well as Venango County. And into Crawford County and Southern Erie, we're all in the 50s from 51 from Nina in Linesville, Rose in Espyville, over to 52 from John and Ludlow in Warren County, 55 Kathy in Youngsville, and 54 Bob and Kitty in Cooperstown. Now the winds are out of the south, okay, and they're going to be gusting even higher tonight, so a little wind program for you, uh, just in case you've got to put the trash out tonight. Look at this, wake up time with gusts to 50, and then it kind of diminishes as you go on into the later nighttime hours tomorrow. But we got that warm air coming in from the Midwest on these southerly winds. Then you've got the showers that will accompany the wind as you go out, rush hour for tomorrow. Then those will be moving out as you go into the late afternoon and evening tomorrow. And Friday, the sun comes back. A little bit of a cool lake breeze will develop. You'll see the uh, blue arrows there. But after that, everything is going to spin around to the south. And that's the warm up for the weekend, maybe starting with some showers on Saturday. So for the lakeshore tonight, temperatures will rise from the 40s into the 50s by morning with wind and rain towards daybreak. Southern Erie, Crawford, Mercer, Venango, chance of showers after midnight. You're 38 going up into the 40s. And uh, for the mountains of Jamestown, Warren, Tyanesta, increasing clouds, milder rain, breezy conditions after midnight and 36 to 40. So it's wet. But we're in the 60s tomorrow, it's gusty early, and then the winds diminish, so does the rain tomorrow evening, Friday just cooler, and then some showers Friday night into Saturday once they pass through, 72, Sunday close to 80, Monday still warm, showers in the afternoon, and then the tumble Tuesday and Wednesday as we have seen evidenced over the past month many, many times. Uh, check out the seven day as well as the cameras on the weather page at your Erie. I just wow. noticed that 44. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna We're look not at the saying a whole lot about it right now. <laughs> okay. Just 